Hey guys, so I recently picked up the Etude House Play Colour Eyes palette. Now I purchased it on the Etude House website. It retails for a price of $26.40. Now it features 10 eyeshadows in total. So the first eyeshadow is a dark brown colour. The shade is matte and is super buildable so you can add as much intensity as you like. The second eyeshadow is a petal pink coral colour. It's also matte and it provides a great pigmentation and is also very buildable. I forgot to apply an eyeshadow base for the previous two shades, so I applied NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk so that eyeshadows can be truly visible. However, it's completely optional. The third shade is a very light nude skin colour. I recommend using this colour as a base for all your other eyeshadows. It is best to use it with a primer as the colour is barely visible. The fourth shade is a khaki brown and golden shade. It's a shimmery shadow and offers great pigmentation. Eyeshadow is my favourite. It's a light see through shade that offers a lot of glitter. It can be used by itself or on top of other shades to add a pop of shine. It has quite a lot of form up there. The sixth shade is a red brown with brick colour. It's great for the crease and it's super buildable, as well as providing great pigmentation. The shadow of shadow is the most pigmented shade of the palette. It's a bright orange colour with golden glitter specks. It's a great shade for the eyelid, especially when you're in the mood for a pop of colour. The eighth shadow is a pretty duo cream pink shade. It's perfect for the eyelid to create a cute eye look. The ninth colour is the third matte eyeshadow of the palette. It's much lighter than the second shadow and it's ideal for the crease. It can be buildable if the shadow is applied various times, depending on the intensity desired. Finally, the last shade is the light golden beige glittery shadow. It has a bit of fallout and does not pack on well as the others, but it still allows you to build up the pigmentation. The shade is great for highlighting under the brow bone or near the tear duct area. Okay, so that concludes the whole eyeshadow palette. So this is it for this video, and thank you for watching.